Yo, hey, welcome to another edition of Handlaid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Socrates. Today we're looking at scissor lift. I made an electric scissor lift. It's got a little 12 volt motor in the back. And uh, the idea was to raise up platform instead of using a helix on the trains, I'd have a little scissor lift. It's got some limit switches on the back side there. When it comes far enough over, hits the end of the limit switch, turns it off, goes to the same place each time. So far, it works pretty well. The idea is that it's going to be used as a bridge in between the two layouts because I have the new green layout and the old layout there, and I'm going to put a bridge right here. So, just go in the middle of it and can raise the bridge up, raise the section up to the higher level. But some people asked me about the scissor lift. If I was ever going to publish it, so I decided, what the heck, publish it if you want a scissor lift. This is the one I built. It's still a, develop, a developmental project. Uh, I basically got as far as proof of concept. Like I say, for me, it works pretty darn well. I think it might work better with uh, an angled uh, threaded rod, but at this point, this one works like it does. And like I say, for the most part, pretty happy with it. Hits the end of it. So as soon as it hits the uh, limit switch, it stops. Got a 12-volt motor in the back. This one's relatively slow. RPM. Works pretty well. So, if you want to make it yourself, limit switch, bunch of screws, a bunch of little hardware. I'll have the stuff listed out on the cults. And like I say, I built this to have the removable bed that I put trains on because it's for a train track is the idea. So, scissor lift. Took the idea from what I could find on the internet. And uh, you can make it taller as well. And as far as it being lifted, somebody asked how much weight can it lift? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Now at this point, it's not really compressed with weight, so we'll do the one kilo weight. Let's see if we can lift one kilo. Certainly much more of a strain. Yeah, I think one kilo is a fair bit for this thing. I thought it would do more than that, but one kilo seems like a lot. I can smell it much more than I did before. So I don't think I'd take it more than a kilo. We'll get a stronger motor for sure because it's not exactly a powerful motor. But the device seems to do it okay. It seems that the motor was more the issue. I don't think I'll put higher, heavier than the one kilo. Exactly sound any worse. Definitely don't smell it nearly as much anyway. Scissor lift. So that worked really, really well. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it did. And originally I made it with a hand crank so as to make it part of the test process before I moved it onto electric so hand cranks included it it does stick underneath it so it's sort of hard to use it on a table uh, but again that was even a more of a stopgap just to get the design tested out so it's better with the electric and the limit switches but you can at least if you want to if you don't have the limit switches etc you can make yourself a hand crank version and crank your way to the scissor lift of victory I mean, it makes sense pretty pretty high. Of course, at this point, it's not necessarily in the center anymore. But scissor lift, get it on cults, and you can lift your way with a scissor. 
Much better with an electric because it's faster and easier and you don't have to crank it. Check it out! Anyway, check it out on Colts. Get yourself a scissor lift. Build one yourself. Make it bigger, make it smaller. I don't know. Make one yourself. Thanks for watching. Check us out later. Hand lay tracks. Doesn't have a theme song. Doesn't have a theme song. Doesn't have a theme song. Hand lay tracks. Still doesn't have a theme song. Because hand lay tracks. It doesn't have a theme song. Doesn't have a theme song. Doesn't have a theme song. Hand lay tracks. Still doesn't have that theme song. Theme song. Theme song.